Alrighty y'all, how you going? We're looking at interesting stuff from Australia. Let's go. Alrighty, so first up we have this remoteness warning sign in Australia. I've seen these before, although I don't know if I've seen this exact version. As we can see clearly in the outback here, it says, uh, warning, remote areas ahead. At the following precautions are advised, carry adequate fuel, water, food, current road maps, and two spare tires. Whoa, that's how you know you're in the middle of nowhere. Two jacks, shovel, first aid kit, tool kit, and tow rope. Drink water at regular intervals to avoid dehydration. Travel at speeds appropriate to road conditions. Avoid night driving when wildlife and livestock may be active. In the event of a breakdown, never leave your vehicle. Wow, that's in all caps and red. Do not camp in waterways. Flash floods can occur without warning. Avoid wet weather driving. Roads can become dangerous and impassable. Keep friends or relatives informed of your outback travel itinerary for road condition information, phone, and then it gives a number. That's pretty intimidating. That's how you know you are going to an extremely remote area. There's, of course, maybe an element of peace in that, like you're going to be somewhere really peaceful and, and quiet and truly away from all the noise and all the craziness of the world, right? But at the same time, it's very intimidating because you are going to be so far removed from you know, day-to-day -day life that most people are a part of. It can be very, very scary, and it can be deadly if you're not careful. <laughs> That's a lot of text for saying you are exiting the map boundary. Turn back now. There's nothing out there for you yet. <laughs> we regularly get the ill-informed tourists who think they can just casually drive across Australia. If they're lucky, they, they'll be eventually found. That is scary. That is scary because so many people underestimate how big Australia is and how empty like big parts of it are it's not like driving across the middle of the u.s where yeah you'll find spots that are pretty you know empty but driving through iowa and driving through nebraska and driving through kansas you know they might be empty compared to some big metropolitan areas but they're nothing like this you're still near civilization in most places this is truly remote of course when we're talking about the center of australia Okay, so this is interesting. Women being allowed in bars. Australia, 1974. Let's take a look at this. Um, were they ever not allowed in bars? Like, I don't know. Remember, I'm <laughs> born in 92. So I, I don't know. So I know society's changed a lot over the decades. Well, that's met with no reaction. Do you object to me being served alongside you here, sir? Yeah. Do you object to people like me walking in and having a drink here amongst you? Well, that's not, not the objection, <clears throat> but uh, I think for myself that the, the place for women is the, the saloon bar or the lounge. Why? What's wrong with us? <laughs> We're not doing well, you any harm in no. here. Well, I mean, if I want to talk or swear or something like that and there's a woman standing behind me, you can't, can you? Why? Why? You just don't. You, well, you can't or don't. Put it that way. <laughs> oh, all right, sir. I'm sorry. I took your place, I think, when I pushed in. Okay. Yeah, but you're not getting me. Do you don't mind me being here, do you? I do. Why? <laughs> because you don't shout. You're only drinking water. Well, I'm drinking water because I'm working, but I don't mind you drinking beer. <laughs> so why should you be next to me? Okay, I'm going to go on a limb and say that this guy's hammered. <laughs> well, you'd feel happier if there was a man next to you, would you? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't mind you. It's just women in, in general, is it? Oh, I love them all. <laughs> I can say F's and B's and C's in here where there's only men. What the hell? You think women are going to be shocked by your language. That's why you don't want them in here, is it? Well, we all... Well, let me put it this way. We put a restraint on ourselves. You're afraid of women. Well, Sounds like it. Up. Well, you must be afraid of us hearing your language. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Well, well perhaps we're, we're decent people and we don't like swearing in front of women. What would you do? Is that it? Oh, is that it? That's what we're going to believe. They just don't want to swear in front of women, so that's, therefore, get out. Sir, if women hmm. walked in here on that. Okay. Down, I'd nice. <laughs> well, you'd walk out, would you? Yeah. 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 If I come in here to enjoy my drink, yeah, I come in to enjoy my drink. drink. I don't give a hang who receives it. <laughs> that last guy for the win. Oh, my God. <laughs> right here. Hold on. There he is. Restored faith in humanity. Right here.
<laughs> what a Chad. That's funny. That is like a different time for sure. Was that accurate? What a weird bit of media there. I'm with this guy. I don't give a crap who's around. Let's have a good time, and I'm just going to enjoy my drink. I'll come in and, and go out, and I don't really care who's there because it's none of my business. Whoa, check this out. We have colorful bugs in Australia. Anyone ID these for me? These are actually spectacular. As someone who generally, you know, is not a huge fan of bugs, I have to say these are kind of gorgeous. The patterns and the colors on these, it's insane. In Australia, most products have a scale showing how much of it was produced in Australia. I Have I noticed that? I've seen an Australian made thing on a bunch of stuff from mail time. I don't know if I noticed the scale. That's really neat, actually. I thought the scale represented how much kangaroo the item was made out of. <laughs> Jeez. I'm with this one. Every country should do this. I like that. You know, I'm not sure. I think a lot of products in the U.S. aren't like this. I know only some are. I like big things like cars. I know on your your build sheet and your window sticker when you buy a car, it breaks down how much percentage this car, you know, where the parts came from, how much percentage of it's American parts. And then if they're foreign, it breaks down which country they came from and, you know, kind of stuff like that. And of course, you know, where it was assembled, all that jazz. So I know with cars, for example, we have a breakdown of how much of it's American. But yeah, I think a lot of stuff I don't see, you know, we don't have this where it says Australian made or, or in our case, you know, American made. And it shows like how much is truly like that. At most, you'll see stuff that might say made in the USA, but you don't, that's about all you get. A massive earthworm found in Queensland. Good God. That is insane. It's always Queensland, too. Queensland has just a, <laughs> just the weirdest animal kingdom ever. It's insane. Look at this tsunami cloud from Sydney, Australia. What in the world? Is this real? That's one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my God. I, I can't tell if it's real or not. That is insane. Please, if someone knows, confirm if this is fake or if this is real. That is frightening, man. Those people sailing must be going really slow due to the weight of their balls, OMG. <laughs> what? Alpine ambulances in Australia? What? Okay, that is sick as hell. How have I not seen these? Oh, my God. I thought stuff like these would be only found in, like, <laughs> I, I don't know, like northern Canada or something or the North Pole. These are wicked. I'm a bit ashamed to admit it. I didn't realize it snowed in Australia, or at least enough to warrant special vehicles. I know it's a whole continent, but I thought it was just mostly coast with a desert in the middle. Yeah, I mean, that's the assumption. And, you know, it's somewhat true. It, it You don't think of it as a snowy place, but as a whole, yeah, as a whole, it doesn't snow in a lot of places. But the places it does snow in Australia... They get a considerable amount, which is pretty wild that you would need vehicles like this. There they are. Okay, no way. We have this titled Crocodile Eats Shark in Australia. <laughs> Let me just add, only in Australia, would you see a crocodile and a shark fighting? <laughs> Holy smokes, man. They're scary, those crocs, when they're lo looming around in the water like that. Wow. Well, not quite the shark I was picturing. A little smaller, but nonetheless. <laughs> that is a crazy... Oh, my God, there it is. That's nature, folks. Oh, that poor guy. Oh my goodness. Straight down. Dinner. Oh my god, that thing is huge. <gasps> Holy shit. Damn, he didn't he just swallowed it whole. 
What the hell? Australia, home of the real life dinosaurs. Can we talk about how chill this guy recording was? <laughs> like, Australians see crazy shit happening and they're always just so chill. Like, what is going on here? Take a look at how freaky this is. North coast of Australia, one week difference. This was, of course, I believe four years ago or five maybe now during the unbelievable fires, right? How scary apocalypse on the bottom. And of course, how scary to think that it looked like that when it should look like a beautiful place, like on top. Jeez. Uh, Red Cliffs, Australia. You know me. I absolutely just for some reason love red rocks, red deserts, that type of thing. Uh, that's why Australia is like almost my dream place because it has a lot of that. That is just beautiful to me. That is That literally blows my mind how freaking cool this looks. Oh, my God. This is a really interesting map. It says the U.S. draws net migration from the entire world except Australia. It's actually mind-blowing. You know, all the green here. Look at the massive amounts of green. Those are countries where more people are leaving to the U.S. than coming in. And it is truly almost the whole world. It's insane. And then you have Australia. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it's really, really fascinating. And uh, I mean, I don't, I don't blame you guys at all, right? It, you live in a beautiful place and a great country. And, you know, I think a long time ago, America was would have been competitive. Of course, I think it's an absolute shithole now so yeah this country has fallen fast and i i wouldn't blame i wouldn't think anyone would want to leave australia for the u.s anymore typical golf match in australia this is yeah, supposed to golf today they've all decided to settle in the middle of the fairway <laughs> <laughs> look at that that's insane nowhere on earth could you find this it's just hilarious the Australian experience looks to be so unique. It's kind of freaky, right? <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. Oh, they're moving on. Thank goodness. She can get her shot off now. I mean, please tell me in the comments, have you ever been surrounded by kangaroos like that? I mean, how are you actually supposed to handle it? Because I feel like, because remember, I don't know, right? I, we don't have kangaroos here like this. Like, is that a dangerous situation, potentially? How are you supposed to handle that? Is it kind of scary? Okay, this is hilarious. We have a spike strip warning sign in Australia. As you can see, <laughs> wrong way, go back. And you can actually see the real spike strip down here. But they go the extra mile on this side. It shows a car going over, and it looks like they're going into a crocodile's mouth. <laughs> this is another thing you might only see in Australia. Warning, swooping birds, protect your eyes, head and face, walk, don't run, or ride your bike. Avoid this area if possible. <laughs> That's the third bullet point. Just avoid this area if possible. That's your best bet. <laughs> Dedicated to a better Brisbane. This is a Brisbane sign. Nice. Well, I think we've all seen the Northern Territories see you in the NT, right? <laughs> if you could piece that together. Well, it looks like South Australia is trying to compete. Go down south with your mouth. <laughs> I can't believe they did this. Uh, this might be one of the coolest logos I've ever seen. This is the Climbers. Association of Western Australia. And it looks like legit a mountain range with the guy climbing, but instead it's actually C A W A. Really, really freaking smooth. I like this. This is kind of another one with Yoga Australia. Now you can see a girl doing a yoga pose, but if you look closely right here, right, this is the shape of Australia. Like, pretty much, right? Of course, we don't have Tasmania. But use your imagination here. That's pretty cool. This is interesting. This is a road safety poster from South Australia. It depicts a car crash, but it's actually a phone. So, you know, saying, good drivers, just drive. So, that's pretty effective, I would say. This is a second-hand store in Australia. You see? You get it? That is... Uh, 
That's one way to do it. Uh, this is one of the weirdest uh, buildings, I guess, I've ever seen. This is one Central Park, Sydney, Australia. We have a really interesting deal here because we have like a modern looking building, but it has greenery incorporated into it, which on the surface actually is a really cool idea. I will say it almost looks like it's look looks like a building from some futuristic apocalyptic movie where it looks like abandoned and, you know, overgrowth is happening on it. So I, I hope that, you know, it doesn't come across wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. But I do like the idea of having green, you know, more greenery mixed in to our uh, concrete jungles, you know. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. But I'm really worried about this. Like, what is this? It looks like it's floating in mid midair. <laughs> like, I don't even know how this works. This doesn't even look like it's connected over here. This is just a fascinating and, quite frankly, strange building. If anyone wants to weigh in on this, I mean, what is going on here? This is kind of interesting. We have a Harry Seidler designed house, 1948 Australia. Is this from 1948 for real? That seems like way too futuristic looking for 1948. Unless it's been renovated or something. I don't know. Regardless of when it's from, this is very bizarre, but kind of cool. Beautiful Opera House, Sydney, Australia. One of the most epic pics I've ever seen. I mean, is there a bad picture of this place? I I've never seen one. This is gorgeous. And to end the video, we have the cutest picture of a quokka. Well, a quokka or two. <laughs> and of course, Western Australia. Oh my God, are they hilarious, right? Oh man, they're so funny. I lied. This is our last one. This is funny. This is voting in Australia. I love how everyone's like, some people are bare feet. Otherwise, everyone else has thongs and uh, not much else on. <laughs> like, look at this, right? And I love how this guy is like copying from this girl over here, like in school, doing the old uh, peekaroo. I don't know. This is <laughs> This is pretty funny. <laughs> And this is definitely only in Australia. So that's going to be it for some very fascinating and interesting pictures that, uh, well, that just show Australia is, is truly unique, if you ask me. Uh, these are always fun. I really hope you enjoyed that. I can't wait for the weekend. It's going to be a really, really fun one. Lots of cool videos coming. So I hope to see you here for some of those. As always, guys, thank you for being here. That's about it for this one. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, take care. I'll catch you later.